Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to embroider a little mini brooch, brooch? I can never say that word right. I always wanna say brooch for some reason. Anyways, I have these cute little embroidery hoops that you can put your embroidery in and then put a pin on the back. So I wanted to show you how I do that today. It's super simple and it's really fun because it's like a project you can do quickly if you don't have much time, but it's still like very satisfying to like have a cute little brooch to wear. So what you'll need for this project is an embroidery hoop and some fabric. I'm just using a tiny little three inch one because we're not gonna be embroidering very much. Um, I have some scissors and I got these hoops off of Amazon and I'll link them below. Um, you'll also need a pin to put on the back if you want to pin it. And then you'll also need some E600. I would definitely recommend using this like versus something like Elmer's glue. And then I'm just using water soluble markers to transfer the pattern. If you don't have the um, little embroidery hoop, but you want to make a little pin, you could also use felt. Um, and then you can um, basically just embroider on it and then glue the pin on the back. You could use like a felt that's a little bit stiffer. I got this at the craft store because I thought they were kind of cute to like take product photos with. I got them from that little gnome section, like fairy garden, like figurine stuff. And I just think they're so cute. Um, but I just bought this to like reference it when I'm drawing. I'm gonna do a little mushroom today. Um, by the way, I think those gardens are so cute the little like gnome gardens that people have. I feel like I'm going to be that person when I'm older. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what those are there for. So all I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be drawing a just simple pattern onto this. But first what you'll wanna do is take your embroidery hoop that you're gonna be framing this in. And I just like to trace a circle around. So this will be the area that you're working with. So I think I'm just gonna do one mushroom and this is water soluble marker. So I can, if I mess up, I can erase it, wash it off, whatever. I'm gonna grab a needle and I picked out 355 and 3866 for my colors and I'm just gonna keep it real simple. I'm just gonna do some satin stitches for the mushroom. Um, but I don't, I guess maybe some of them will be kind of like long and short stitches. I'm basically just gonna make some horizontal stitches to fill in the red of the, of the mushrooms. So now I'm gonna go in with this off-white color and fill in the white of the spots in the mushroom. And then I'll use that same color for the stem. All right, so I've got the spots done and now I'm going to make vertical stitches on that stem and I'm just gonna do satin stitches again.
So I ended up deciding to make a couple of these because I have a few different sizes of those uh, brooches. But um, I decided I wanted to add some like little like stars in the background. So I'm just using some yellow and making a couple stitches. And then I think I might add in a few French knots to, to put in like a few smaller dots into the mushroom. So I just wanted to kind of show you that for this one at least. I think I might add a few stars to that little one too. I think that's cute. I'm just gonna add like, I'm gonna just do like one wrap around for the French knot. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe put one like right here. Yeah, I like that. So I'll probably just go back into this one and do a couple stars and like a couple dots as well. So my fabric has dried and now I'm just going to be taking these three pieces. There's like an inner piece of wood, the outer ring, and then this will go on the back. So you just put this underneath your fabric and center it. And I like to do this before I cut around the fabric. That way you know you have enough fabric um, to center it because otherwise you could make it to where you can't center it or you won't have enough fabric. So um, I just put the inner um, piece of wood underneath and then make sure that I like the way it's centered. And you'll have to loosen this a little bit. This is like as loose as it'll go right now. And then I just push the inner piece of wood into the hoop here. And I'm just gonna put it to where it's like flush with the the top of the hoop and I think that looks really cute so now what you can do is um, you can cut it um, I guess since I've like embroidered these pretty close together I'm just gonna make sure I'm cutting really close to this so I'm just gonna cut around it and then I'll secure it with glue on the back And I just like to put a little bit inside here. And then I just push the fabric onto that. And you could use like a tool or something because this is kind of like going to be hard to get off if I get it on my fingers, but I'm going to risk it. <laughs> so once I have pushed the fabric onto the back of that inner ring, I'm gonna take this outer ring now and I'm going to put some glue onto the ridge of this ring. And then I'm going to be attaching the outer ring or the outer piece to the hoop. If you have like any extra glue, you can just clean that off. So then you can just put a strip of glue onto the back of this. And then place your clasp onto the back. Like so. And then I let I like to let this sit overnight. Um because it takes a little while to dry, and then you're all set. <laughs>